What's up everybody, welcome back to Bond's Box, I'm Bond and uh, a new month is upon us, welcome to September 2019. And with that we obviously have two more games with gold games to check out. Um, as usual we've got an Xbox One game and a backwards compatible game, this time it's a 360 game. Um, both I'd say are pretty niche games, one is more high profile than the other but um, I mean, as you can see right now, Hitman on screen is a pretty high profile game, but I think the stealth genre in general is quite niche, but we'll get into that in the games. Um, as with all my other games we've got videos, all these videos are running on Xbox One X, um, and Hitman itself is enhanced for the system. Um, the 360 game isn't, but, um, but yeah, I mean, all these games are running on the X, so you get the upscaling and the faster load times, that kind of thing, that you can potentially get from the X. Yeah, I'd say it's a it's a decent month. I, I'm not sure if it's the best month we've seen this year so far, but it's definitely up there. I think, um, especially maybe if you want it for uh, people wanted to try new genres of games and that kind of thing, definitely going to be a good month for that. We'll get into the other two, obviously on the 16th. Um, but with that, I will get right into them, and um, we'll start off with Hitman. So Hitman is a series has been around for a really long time um first one came out back in 2000 so it's almost 19 years old now it's the end of 2000 by the look of it that the first one came out so um next year we'll be celebrating its 20th anniversary so hopefully we get some cool stuff for that but the game we've got is hitman the complete first season for um for xbox one and this is basically the reboot this is the game that came after the lengthy gap that came after uh, absolution and they took it w more back to its roots um basically each level is like a, a little sandbox with a mission you gotta do um with a bunch of different ways in which you can complete them uh obviously stealth is the name of the game you get your disguises you got sneaking you got gadgets and all that kind of thing to uh take out your target i mean run and gun i guess is an option sometimes but the gunplay isn't made for that i think it's deliberately clunky to uh kind of push you away from that option um and you know sneaking around and figuring out plotting where your target's gonna be you can like poison a drink or you know somehow accident like get make it look like an accident that kind of thing i mean so this it, it's kind of a puzzle game i guess in that sense as well kind of plot out how to do stuff um and yeah i mean i think it's a really cool franchise and if you haven't tried out hitman i, I don't think there's a game like it out there so I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, if you're not into stealth at all, if you hate the idea of trying to be sneaky and uh, you know not being caught, and you just want to run in and like blast stuff, um, probably don't check it out. I doubt you. You probably find it quite slow and boring. But yeah, I, I definitely think this game was a return to form for at least the masses of the fact that you know the hardcore fans of the series. I personally enjoyed Absolution for what it was, which is basically a third-person cover shooter. Um, more in line with like Splinter Cell than it was Hitman, but um, so if that's more your thing. Then maybe check out Absolution. That is also an Xbox One and 360 and back compared. So there's many different ways you can play that. But yeah, anyway, we're talking about this free one. Um, you get all of the episodes because Hitman One was episodic. Um, so the complete first series comes with all of the episodes along with the summer bonus episode there's a quite a lot of content to get your teeth into and then each level you can master by killing everybody in certain different ways and not getting caught and making sure you only do it in a suit or getting your suit out and all that there's a bunch of different challenges in the game um so there's plenty of replay value for each level if you're looking to try and like ace it and yeah i mean and if you do enjoy it i mean hitman 2 came out last year um and that's basically more of the same from what i can tell so um if you enjoy that, maybe look to pick that up too. I don't think I have too much more to say about it. The game, like I said, it's a stealth game. You sneak around, you've got like disguises and, and like it's kind of like, if you've never played it before, the best way I can describe it is it's basically each level is like its own mini sandbox. Don't go thinking it's like a GTA size map. It's not nowhere near. It's basically a little area like a... Like there's one that's like a, the F1. Oh wait, that might be Hitman 2. I'm thinking of Hitman 1. There's one where there's the f intro mission. Basically, you're in like this warehouse where it's a training mock-up for like a, a ship exercise. Um, and there's one where man, I can only think of Hitman 2 levels. But the like 
basically you have like one area whether it's a racetrack or a mansion or whatever and that you can go everywhere and anywhere basically in those areas and find disguises and things plot out like where the target's going to be like for example oh we might be going over there for a drink every now and then we'll try and disguise ourselves as a waiter to then poison his drink and serve that to him and then he would like either die from the poison or maybe he'll end up having to rush to the toilet which leaves him secluded for you to be able to take him out that way that kind of thing um so that's just a very loose example but there's plenty of many ways you could kill people you could like loosen bolts to drop stuff on them and all this crazy stuff so plenty to mess around with and uh um, like I said, if you're into stealth at all, I highly recommend checking it out. If you have no feelings towards stealth one way or another and you're looking for something new that you've never played before and you've never played Hitman, I highly recommend it because, like I said, I don't think there's a game like Hitman out there. And and yeah, I think I'm repeating myself now, so I'm going to stop. Uh, definitely check it out. If, uh, if you don't hate stealth, um, check it out. It's around 34 gigabytes for the game and the summer bonus episode. If you just download just the main game, it's 22.7. So if you're looking to try it out and you're on a data limit, maybe just download the base game and then download the episode afterwards if uh, if you want to play more. Um, so keep that in mind if you're on a data cap. So for the 360 game is actually a series that I have never ever played before. Um, I was kind of intrigued by the war original one that came out in 360, but I never ended up getting it, I never ended up checking it out, and that's Earth Defense Force. Um, the one we get this month, or today, this half of the month, is Earth Defense Force 2025, which is a sequel to some of the past ones, I believe, I'm not 100% sure on that, but they talk about stuff that happened years ago in like the uh, intro and the cutscenes and whatnot, so I assume this takes place after some of the others. Um, there's a lot of these games, as far as I'm aware, I think it's four or five on the Xbox systems, um, and I think many more on other platforms, potentially. But yeah, I mean, basically all of this Earth Defense Force is, is the Earth has been invaded by giant insects, and you just get to blast them. It's kind of a mission-based game where you just run around as, like, a, a trooper and blast giant bugs. <laughs> and, I mean, that's pretty much it as far as I can tell this game in particular like I said I can't speak for the other games but this game you have four different classes you can play as you have kind of like a ranger one you have like the flying more number one which you'll see me playing as because that's my play style you have kind of like this tanky kind of guy and like a melee type of dude um, so there's four different classes and you get weapons you get different weapons you can get and then level up um, stuff for your character and stuff it looks like so there's a little bit more depth than just running around blasting uh, insects, but as far as the gameplay loop, it definitely seems like that is what it is. So if you're looking for more of like a mindless shooter with some mild RPG kind of leveling up loadout mechanics, then definitely check this out. It is also co-op. You can play split screen two player, or you can play online with four player. So if you want like a mindless kind of co-op action fun like type of game, then uh, again, probably the one to check out. And yeah, so like I said, um, both these games, like this and Hitman, are both, I think, really good for trying to get people, like if people are looking for something new that they don't normally ordinarily play, I think these two genres are definitely really good for that because, like I said, I think stealth is very, very niche in general and Hitman is a niche within a niche, I think, like it's very different from most other stealth games. Um, and then EDF is, I mean... It's very Japanese, it's very over-the-top, action-y, shooty mech, so maybe a little more mainstream, but I don't think many people would have heard of the series in general, at least in the uh, in the West. Um, so, if you're looking for just to zap some huge bugs, that is definitely one to check out. Like I said, I have never played any of them until this one came free, so uh, I don't have a whole lot to give you on my personal opinion on it. Um, I can just tell you what, basically what you see in this video. Um, uh, as far as size, it is only 5.6 gigabytes, so not too big if you're on a if you're on a data budget. So that's the two games for this month. Like I said, probably way too many times at this point that they're both solid games for checking out something new. Uh, we've obviously got with September onwards, we have a whole slew of huge games coming out from now until basically the end of the year. So. Um, you know, if, you, if you're looking for something out of the mainstream, then maybe these games are the ones to check out. Uh, if not, I mean, 
Just don't download them, I guess. <laughs> but make sure to let me know in the comments if you did, if you enjoy them, if you've played them in the past. Especially uh, anybody who knows anything about EDF, I'd definitely be interested to know more about the series. Um, it, it seems like it's a pretty cool series that uh, I might play more of if I can find the time. Um, Hitman, again, my personal opinion is that if you if you really despise stealth, do not play it. If you kind of like puzzle type things, maybe check it out. If you like stealth games, definitely check it out. But if you've never played Hitman, it, it really is a unique franchise for the most. Well, Absolution being the anomaly, I think. But it really is a unique franchise that it is a stealth game, but it's like its own genre of stealth. If that makes any sense, hopefully it does. I mean, that wraps it up. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you're playing them. Give me that thumbs up if you like this video. I feel like I might have rambled a bit too much in this one, so let me know if you don't like it. That I'll try and keep it trimmed down for that next one. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more content. I'll have the second half of this month up when they're available. Like I said, we have a whole slew of games coming up between now and the end of the year, so I'm going to have a whole bunch of unboxings. My collaboration that I mentioned in the rebranding video is finally come through so I'll be unboxing that here shortly. X enhanced videos there'll be plenty of those as well. Yeah like I said like comment subscribe all that fun stuff hit the bell if you want to know when any of that stuff goes live. If you already do that um, you're already fantastic thank you for the support. Channel seems to be growing back a bit since the rebranding we're starting to get more momentum going hopefully and hopefully some exciting things can come now that some of the games are starting to roll on out the bigger games. Um, so thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time.